Hi guys, this is Adela Garcia, eight-time fitness Olympia champion, and you guys are watching Muscle in the Morning. Stay tuned. Welcome to another episode of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs, the most hardcore bodybuilding supplements on the market. I'm your host, Dave Palumbo, and I'm here to bring you all the latest news in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. It's Tuesday, November 11th, 2014, and let's get to it. The 2014 NPC Oklahoma Grand Prix took place over this past weekend, and RX Muscle was there live to cover all the action. The show featured stacked lineups across the board as some of the Midwest's best took the stage looking to snag a late qualification for the NPC Nationals, which are just two weeks away. In the women's bodybuilding, it was a very impressive Susan Smith who captured the overall, while Brittany Bull blew away the field on her way to the novice and open titles in figure. Aaron Fletcher won the super heavyweight class and overall bodybuilding title, while Nicholas Dowling took both the novice and open men's physique division, and Tony Fern won the Masters Bodybuilding. In case you missed it, be sure to catch the replay of the live stream event on the homepage at rxmuscle.com. Justin Compton was recently spotted looking absolutely enormous in the gym. After recently announcing that he signed on to become an athlete with Evagen Nutrition, Compton and the pro creator were seen hammering chest in the gym following the IFBB Sacramento Pro. In addition to the announcement of their recent partnership, Rombot and Compton have also announced that we can expect to see Justin on the Arnold Classic stage come 2015. Compton's presence in the lineup will certainly make things interesting, as last year's third place finisher, Cedric McMillan, said in a recent guest posing that not only does he plan to compete in Columbus, but he has every intention on winning one of bodybuilding's most prestigious titles. If Compton can manage to bring the same insane level of conditioning to the Arnold Classic that we saw earlier this year when he won the Orlando Europa Show of Champions, it will be a battle for sure in Columbus, Ohio. The reigning king of the 212 division is back in the gym. After a strong contest season that saw him take five first place finishes on three different continents and became the first three-time champion in the history of the 212 division, Flex Lewis took some well-deserved time off to enjoy a little rest and relaxation under the Caribbean sun. Although he solidified his place as the 212's most dominant force this year, Flex Lewis left the door open just a crack for a few competitors to sneak through and challenge his throne by him failing to deliver a bit of wow factor that we've seen from him in the past. But despite the criticism that may have been directed his way, the fact remains that in bodybuilding, in order to beat the champ, you have to knock him out. The real question is, does anyone in the 212 division pack enough punch to step up and slay the Welsh Dragon? To date, the answer has been no. Master promoter of the Midwest and friend to RX Muscle, Jack Titoni, put on the IFBB Iowa Pro Bikini this past weekend in Davenport, Iowa. The show brought in a staggering 25 competitors from all across the world. But in the end, it was California beauty Norman Astria who came in and took the title for a second year in a row. After a 12th place finish at this year's Olympia, the 2011 NPC USA winner punched her ticket to Las Vegas by snagging the win and earning herself a qualification to next year's Olympia in the process. This marks the fourth win for Astria on an IFBB stage. And with her placings and stage presence improving each and every year, Perhaps her next trip to the Olympia stage, she'll find herself breaking into the top five for the first time. The bodybuilding world invaded the bluegrass state over the weekend when some of the best from the figure and pro men's physique division took the stage to compete in the IFBB Kentucky Muscle Pro. In the figure division, it was ferocious Florida vixen Kamala Mako who conquered the field and added her first victory as an IFBB pro to her resume. And in men's physique, Michael Anderson continued to show why he should be regarded among the best in the sport as he brought in a crisp, clean look on his way to locking up his fourth pro victory of the year. Congrats to all. And finally, don't miss the Thanksgiving edition of The Fitness View, live on Wednesday, November 12th at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard with panelists Nancy Norman, Gigi Amore, Brooke Cook, Tennille Ray, and Lena Mission. 
That's The Fitness View, live Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard, exclusively on rxmuscle.com. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs, the most hardcore bodybuilding supplements on the market. Check out ironmaglabs.com today. And for full quotes and Muscle in the Morning bonus features, join Muscle in the Morning's official Facebook page. I'm your host, Dave Palumbo, reminding you to always be true to your passions. And remember to follow us on Twitter and Facebook.